All right, this is it, round four. Uh, we will continue to choose to draw. This is a, a decent hand. We can cast both the Advocate and the Guardian. Negator might have to wait a bit. Oh, another two drop, all right. Shouldn't have too much trouble casting our things. I think Advocate's a little bit more likely to get through next turn. We'll start with that. It's a juicier, cheap removal target. For something like Complete Disregard, but... Oh, well, looks like nothing was getting through. Got a wall. This hand's shaping up nicely. The the filer is not a not a terrible draw there with a couple end. We're gonna be close off the translator to getting it in play. Eh, Myers Mellis, decent draw. Let's see if we can be patient on it again. With, if we don't draw a land or a play, we might just fire it off next turn, just because we have so much more to do with our mana. But with the Advocate in play, it would be nice to awaken. So third color from our opponent with the Wastes. Another cutthroat. Okay, well, that, that was a great draw. I think now we, we can slam the Translator here, which can actually set up a malice. Do we want to make an attack? Uh, don't think so. Well, actually, sure. We play translator first and we can attack with the slaughter drone. We have pretty good defense set up here. For counter attack, it looked like our opponent missed a land drop. And now we're now we're drawing really live. I, I think a land a land would be perfect just because it it puts her uh, advocate online and lets us cast a defiler, which is pretty huge. But both Negator and, and Myers Malice are, are good options here, too. Alright. That's a decent play from our opponent. I think we might want a Myers Malice. The, the only issue with Myers Malice here... ...is that a land dying would be would be pretty bad. I, I just don't... I can't imagine that a land is the best target our opponent has here. Don't think we want a Slaughter Drone attack. I, I actually don't really want to trade for the Raptor. I think Malice is the most efficient use for a mana. We, we drew a 3-drop. So now with the land, we can either go Defiler or 4-drop, 3-drop. So this this is the best use of our mana. My dog is making some strange noise. I don't know if you can hear him. He's making some strange noises in his sleep. I guess our opponent's able to keep their best card. Follow the Titans. It's definitely a card I don't mind taking. And a less exciting McKinney Aeronaut. Still pretty good. Myers Malice. 
I think I think land is is the best we can hope for next turn. Drenna's chosen. Oh, that's 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 a good card. That is not a land. It, it does let us play two flyers here, though. Um, we have an attack. No, we we definitely don't have an attack. All right. Good news is our opponent. Oh, that's annoying. You can't. <laughs> you can't. You want to spell first, but you can't with translator for some reason. Our opponent does not currently have a fourth ally, so they're going to have to choose between draining us and, and making zombies. Draining us might look a little better. Well, this turn he can only drain us, but next turn. Ugh, Oblivion Strike is pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Though it might be better to get Negator in play. So we can put some real pressure on our opponent. We're not on that quick a clock. Uh, I, I think we are going to offer the, the familiar trade. Do I have another attack here? No, with the wall, just like we've attacked with multiple creatures on the ground. I mean, we could play Defy. No, we don't. We don't have the 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 next land for that yet. Man, a land really opens up our options a lot here, especially with the Negator in play. With Negator, we can actually jump the Advocate. I, I think I think our opponent's going to continue draining us here. That it, it seems a little better than making zombies. Oh, he's going to make zombies. I'm I'm pretty happy with that cuz our, our we're going to gum up the ground pretty decently here. And try to race in the air. And they just emptied their hands. So now, yeah, if they're if they're on the zombie plan, we're we're in great shape. Let's draw a land here. Yeah. Well, This is interesting. So, if if we jump Negator, we can if we jump Advocate, say with Negator, we can cast Grip of Desolation. If we grip, if we grip his wall and his wastes, can we get in on the ground, or is that still risky? Can also do like a, a cutthroat in the wastes. Can also just play Defiler to set up for next turn. Now we don't we don't want to use translator too aggressively, or, or we we might shift our opponent back to the cutthroat plan. Yeah, you know, I I think I like just getting in for six here. If we draw a land next turn, then we play Defiler. But I, I, I don't think we get too aggressive. This is just a three-turn clock right now. It does involve using the translator. Yeah, 
got to be careful here. You got to use the translator first, or it won't. I think it won't let you tap it, or tap you activated it with the when you when it's time to pay for the ability. Yeah, and it does leave grip up. I'm wondering if we should just cast the grip, but I think we can. Just because like we can't take away both his cutthroats and. You know what? If he's going to use that zombie thing, we're, we're going to beat that zombie thing. And, like, if he, if he draws a flyer off the top or something, then uh, that's an ally. I think before he can double activate, we're just going to grip in response here. Whoops. I mean, we still we still beat it pretty easily, but like I don't I don't want a double activation of cohort. That can open up out. So I think yeah, we'll just do it like this. D d double drain is is four per turn. Like that could, you know, give our opponents outs in a burn spell. Suppose we could have hit the mountain instead of wastes. Our opponent still gets a double activation, actually. It turns out. Yeah, didn't fully think that through, but it, I, we still would have done it. It does mean he has to decide to tap down the extra creature. It could open up some attacks on the ground here, actually. Well, the larva is not exciting. So, do we want to attack with more on the ground? Let's see. I mean, if we attack with the forest, we. Well, I don't think we're going to play Defiler here anyway. So, it. it Clears up some for our opponent's stacks. We don't want to expose our colorless stores. So uh, yeah, I think I think we attack with advocate, forest, and seed guardian here. Well, see, uh, forest. Uh, well, actually, do, 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 do. he does have a wall. Yeah, okay. It, it doesn't actually do that much here. He gets him to chump with his free zombie. Yeah. All right. I think it's just these two. Yeah, I mean, get, getting Defiler in play. Still pretty good, but I think we want to make him top deck something here. Yeah, the the issue is without getting defiler in play, like removal spell on our flyers, kind of bad. That's that's kind of why I want to get another attack in here, but it's just not quite good enough. So we have an interesting uh, decision whether we want to put a waste on top. I think we do, for actually for a couple reasons. We lose lethal if he can kill our land. Because we lose the bonus from Advocate. And this just also gives us a, um, a colorless source that does not require us to pay life. And, and it does make sure we can play the Defiler next turn as well if if he does top deck something good It's 
probably worth not paying the one. Now we'll see if he he can kill it. I mean, if he can, if if he can survive here, we are probably gonna cast Defiler. Uh, he can survive. In fact, oh, that was a good draw. But he's gonna need to draw something else because Defiler just does just finish it off next turn. Finish off the game, I should say. Should just make sure that we don't lose to an alpha because we have to tap down, go to seven, have to tap down the forest. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six block. Yeah, okay. We are certainly safe. You know what? Take us this time, this chance to correct herself and not. Oh, well, never mind. I can't. I I I did and did it again anyways. But we we had to we had to mana first anyways because of the translator. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm gonna go spell first. <laughs> I still did mana first, but it turned out we had to. So it's a removal for Defiler or Bust. And it's Bust. Alright. So a lot of cohorting going on here. Able to gum up the ground. Certainly do like the flying plan here. Uh, Tar Snares look quite good in this matchup. If we're gonna pick off things like Chain Mages and Zombie Makers, we actually probably want both. Otherwise, like, I'm totally I'm totally fine leaving leaving it out when we've, because we, we have a decent amount of removal, and it's, that's much more reliable than Tar Snare, but here, here I think they're good. And I think we can actually use that to make our mana a little bit better. I just bring in both and like ditch a blinding drone. Blinding drone's not exciting removal when when your opponent's cohorting as a path to victory. And ditch one more thing, maybe Pathfinder. I think we, we still want to sp like splash our blue flyers because it does seem like how uh, the best way to kill our opponent. Yeah. Eh, maybe maybe even defiler. I yeah. I think I'll still just keep the defiler over the pathfinder. All right. Run it back. I mean, the file, the the pathfinder has been decent so far, but we're not we're not. Oh, I didn't I didn't fix my mana. <laughs> well, that was a little counterproductive there. Well, it turns out in this hand we're, we're we're actually pretty happy to have that extra island in our deck, but the plan was to to ditch one of our islands. <laughs> Right on time, Mr. Advocate. That's a strong card. We're going to need some lands, though. Preferably including an island. Could see a removal spell here, but we're, we're not going to not attack. Hitting the first lands pretty big. Now for islands. We need an island and then a swamp. <laughs> Are we asking too much? Maybe. Uh, yeah, we're just going to Myers Malice. Just 
just like we we don't want to we don't want to cripple ourselves if we if we do draw the island next turn. Obviously, it's not going to be super exciting here. But if we just pass and then you know don't develop, oh, we hit colorless. Don't develop our board. Then when when by the time our opponent has two cards in hand, we may not be able to use malice. Oh, there's our island. That's good timing. I could try to gotta gotta try to hit that swamp next. Um, yeah, he's gonna get to tap us down for free. Do we prefer to play Avenger or Harvester? I think actually. Harvester might be more efficient just because we have Grasp in hand. And we we still have two drops in our deck that we could draw. I like say like Loam Larva. So it actually might be more mana efficient to play the cheaper spell here. Interestingly enough. That's a pretty good last card. Let's see if we can draw that swamp on cue. Not quite. Yeah, we'll just play translator. Oh, we're in really good shape if we can draw a swamp very, very quickly. It does have to be pretty quickly. I think we're under some, some good pressure now. We can't block the behemoth. He's got the tapper. He's got the chain mage for pressure here as well. Yeah, I'm just going to double block that 4-2. Like, we trade our 2-4 for it, but I'm, I'm not taking 10, and I'm not chumping. So just got to hit that swamp. All right. Well, that that does that is still a good draw. We get to play Larva and 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 Avenger and get the Swamp for next turn. Are cleaning up this board, so now now I like our chances quite a bit. Our opponent's drawing off the top. I mean, uh, a timely removal spell right now would be good, but the wind the window is is going to close shortly. That's decent. Give some double. Um, Double cohort. I think tacking's probably greedy here. Oh, he's gonna tap down. Seed Guardian. Wondering if we just want to grasp this turn. I think we're going to have to grasp the cohort. I, I, I guess we stay back. The, the cohort, the cutthroat. Yeah, it I, I it's it's worth gripping now. We we like we could potentially coax him into a, a bad attack here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna wait. I mean he's seen grip already, but we could he could potentially make a mistake by tapping something pre combat here. The the upside to gripping now was to take him off holdout settlement in case he had a card that required like a reality smasher or something.
Okay, so this is kind of what we wanted. Gonna put us to four. Kill the cutthroat, but well, we can attack him. I think we're gonna attack for six. Does put us dead to like a shock or a removal uh, removal spell. All right, just the flyer. I mean, he does have at least one more cutthroat in the deck, so do want to put a clock on our opponent. Oh, we, we would have been dead to that too, so it's a good thing we stayed back. Flyers, flyers, good. All right, you can start tapping down a flyer too. Yeah, hopefully, we can find another removal spell. It's unfortunate that we, you know, we, we that one of the removal spells we drew earlier was not at one of the tar snares we boarded in because now tar snares is a lot worse. Tar snare was more for the cutthroats. But we, we couldn't afford to risk not grasping that cutthroat immediately. And there's the Tar Snare. Well, we'll save it for his next cutthroat if he finds it. Oh, he doesn't want me to jump something. I, I don't think I was going to. I'd rather just get in for three. Oh, there's Oblivion Strike. That is good. We'll let him tap something first. Our opponent does have Fall, fall of the Titans in his deck, I believe. So can we jump something? Well, I don't, I don't really want to pay life to do it, so no. Now it's a two turn clock because we can jump something on the final turn. I think I'm going to play the land because I don't want to have to pay life in order to tar snare if we need to. Silent Skimmer. Okay, uh, might tar snare that on blocks. I assume I assume it's going to block something. It does reduce our clock. Now, question is whether we actually this turn want to jump something. To keep him on a two turn clock, it opens this up. To like pump spell or removal killing us. Let's see, we get we assume we get in for two here, he goes to ten. We're gonna be short. So the question the question here is like we might by 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 not by not jumping something here, we're gonna give him we're likely giving him an extra draw step overall but if we jump something we're giving him likely more outs 
in his one draw step. I think we still just want to give him one draw step. Now, what if he doesn't block? Well, uh, that makes things... He could not block. If he doesn't block, keep Silent Skimmer. What happens? Well, he still... He still needs to top deck something, because we can Tar Snare Tutu that's attacking us. Oh, not even... Okay, yeah, I, man, we're, our, our clock is of the essence here too, especially if we do lose this game. I, I hope I, I didn't miss something here. So he does block. Wait for after damage. Oh, you know, hmm. I kind of missed that I can't activate translator if he, if he alphas. But if he alphas, we don't need to jump. Unless he can make multiple blockers. Not an interesting game. Yeah, certainly blocking. <laughs> You're dead to pump. Now, if he can, he needs to make, oh. I don't think there's any point in attacking with the larva, because it doesn't change anything here. We don't think. Okay, I don't want to think about it too much. And we drawing Tarsnare means we're not dead to a crackback if he does have something. He does not have something. All right. We did it. Uh, that, that was an interesting ending there. I, I, I'd like to hear what you would have done there between, between the two lines. But it worked out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the sealed. I'll see you next time.